Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. If your video is about to start shortly, please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Hi guys, welcome back. So we're going to tie a little uh, Debo type sedge tonight. Uh, this one is going to use partridge as the wing, so I suppose we'll call it a, like a partridge Debo. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is to take partridge feather and I'm going to strip it back until we end up with this sort of effect so it's just a little bit longer than the hook and then take some clear varnish or flue glue or something like that put it onto that and then I'm just going to pull it between my finger and thumb and that will sort of glue it all together with the varnish as the varnish starts to get a bit tacky you'll see that it gets thinner and then what we'll do is we'll set that aside to dry. So what I'd suggest you do is that you make a few wings up in advance and allow them to set uh, and then we tie the fly. So this is a size 14 B175. Use a similar hook, something like a 170 and lighter wire if you want. But, uh, this one is being tied for a lake with big fish in it. So we're going that little bit heavier wire. I'm using the uh, nano silk again. So I'm just putting a bit of super glue onto the shank just to prevent it from slipping. And then I'm going to use this for the body. So this is like a this is a mixture of hair and a little bit of fairy brown seal and also like a like a brown wool just to give it a bit more grip and allow you to tighten it up because it's a smaller fly. So we'll flip the fly upside down because it's easier to wrap into the gape of the hook and create a little body, little dub body. So then we'll take one of these varnished wings. See here. Set that up on top. I'm making it a little bit longer than the body, and then I'm just sort of going to clamp it to it. And wrap that down. And snip it off. As you'll see, that has created like a nice little shell wing back for the fly. So then I'm going to take a red game uh, genetic saddle feather, tie it in at the front, and then I'm taking my tie and thread to the rear of the uh, thorax here and then I'm going to start to wrap that. So I'm wrapping backwards touch and turns till we hit the point of the wing there and tie across it a couple of times because I'm using a real thin fine thread it's just slipping in between the fibres here, but it's tying down the stalks. I'll snap off the feather. And when I've got to the front here, I'm just going to sort of just sweep all back to allow me in there. Create a little head. Finish down onto it. Snip that 
that off. And then I'm going to use a little dab of super glue to varnish this. So I just use these little cocktail sticks. Just get that down onto the head and that will not come apart. So that is our little partridge sort of devote style sedge. Hopefully you like it. Uh, if you do, give us a like, subscribe, uh, check out the other videos on the channel, tell your friends, and until next time, take lines, and thanks for watching.